welcome to the course on computer networks in this video we are going to solve additional examples on network performance motivation is how to calculate minimum window size for sliding window protocol and therefore goal is to calculate minimum window size to get maximum utilization or optimum throughput we know to solve the examples on network performance we need information about four parameters diameter of network d propagation velocity v size of data to be sent l and bandwidth r with the help of these four parameter we can calculate propagation time and transmission time the addition of propagation time and transmission time gives us the transfer time bandwidth and delay is used to know the number of bits on the communication pipe and with the help of these we can calculate throughput utilization and efficiency these are the set of formulas for your ready reference first of all we will try to understand relation between window size and utilization we know a is a constant gives us ratio between propagation time and transmission time if the value of a is less than 1 it indicates utilization is close to 1 as well as throughput is close to the given bandwidth but when a is greater than 1 it will give poor utilization as t propagation time is more than t frame time the only solution to increase the utilization is to use the sliding window protocol we know the formula for the utilization and from this formula we can understand we can get the utilization one if window size n is equal to 1 plus 2a we know for n frames of size l in window it will take a total time n multiplied by t frame and to get a good utilization this value should be greater than 2a plus 1 which is equal to 2 propagation time plus t frame time to solve the problem we need to remember this formula window size n equal to 2a plus 1 if window size n is less than 2a plus 1 it indicates utilization is less than 1 and we can calculate it with the help of formula n divided by 2a plus 1 if n is greater than 2a plus 1 utilization will always be close to 1 we can rewrite window size n by using bandwidth into delay divided by frame size and also from this formula we can calculate the frame size l for the given window consider this example where bandwidth is 19.2 kbps frame size is 960 bits and propagation time is 0.06 seconds we need to calculate window size and link utilization and we have to tell what is the minimum window size to get 100% link utilization so here we can calculate t frame time t prop time is given and we get the value of a as 1.2 which is a greater than 1 as t propagation time is greater than t frame time it indicates the need of sliding window 
we can calculate the window size by using 2a plus 1 and we get 3.4 we can use the same formula by having the t prop and t frame values we get the same answer try to analyze the effect of window size on utilization if window size is 2 then it gives us 0.58 utilization and 58.8% efficiency if we set window size equal to 3 then it gives us 0.88 utilization which is equal to 88% of efficiency and when we set window size equal to 4 now this value is greater than 2a plus 1 so we get the utilization 100% and therefore the minimum window size n for 100% utilization is 4. In this example bandwidth is 1024 kbps, frame length is 1024 bytes and one way propagation delay is 40 millisecond. Here we have to suggest a flow control mechanism using the window mechanism and calculate minimum window size to get optimum throughput. We can calculate T frame. T prop is given. After calculating A, we get value of A greater than 1. So it indicates the need of sliding window and we can calculate sliding window size as L1. Throughput is calculated by dividing transfer size by transfer time and it gives us throughput as 93.3%. Let us cross check it. Our window size is 11 and we want window size greater than 2a plus 1 which is equal to 2 propagation time plus t frame time. So we get 88 millisecond on both the side. If we take n equal to 10, then we get 80 millisecond, which is less than 88 milliseconds. And if we calculate the utilization, we get 0 0.9 per 9 and efficiency as 90%. So what it indicates? whether the window size should be 11 or 10 or 12 the answer should be 12 because 12 will give you window size n value in terms of the time which is greater than 2a plus 1 same example with different values where DTR is 512 kbps, frame 512 bytes, one way propagation delay 20 milliseconds. So we can calculate T frame which is 8 millisecond, T prop time is given 20 millisecond. We get value of E as a 2.5 which is greater than 1. So we can calculate window size which is 6 and we get the throughput as 85.33%. We can cross check it. We get 48 millisecond, 48 millisecond on both the side. But if we take n equal to 7 we get 56 millisecond which is greater than 48 millisecond so it satisfies our requirement that n should be greater than 2a plus 1 therefore 
minimum window size to get the optimum optimum utilization is n equal to 7 this example ask us to calculate window size and number of bits required for the window size as a sequence number so we can calculate t frame time which is 100 microsecond t propagation time is given 10 millisecond so we get a as 100 which is greater than 1 indicates the need of sliding window and we get the window size as 201 frames to uniquely identify 201 frames it will require 8 bits we can solve the same example by using the another approach where we can take the product of bandwidth and delay we get 100 kilobits frame size is given as a 1000 bits so for one way propagation delay we get 100 frames by considering the rtt we get 200 frames so it indicates sequence number will be of 8 bits by using bandwidth delay we get 200 frames by using 2a plus 1 we get 201 frames and to satisfy our requirement that window size should be greater than 2a plus 1 our answer should be 202 frames same example with different data transfer rate propagation delay and frame size we get the value of a 5 which is greater than 1 and we get the window size as 11 so for identifying 11 frames it will need 4 bits sequence number by using alternative method of bandwidth into delay we get 80 kilobits on pipe and as frame size is 1000 bytes we get 10 frames and for the 10 frames it will need 4 bits so again here by the product of bandwidth and delay we get 10 frames by using 2a plus 1 we get 11 so remember 11 is a minimum window size but to get the utilization 1 all the time it should be greater than 2a plus 1 so 12 would be the correct answer to understand computer networks very well we must able to visualize one bit time and one bit length so this is the example for telephone network where v is given as a 2.3 multiplied by 10 raised to 8 meter per second bandwidth is 56 kbps distance 10 kilometer and we need to calculate one bit time and one bit length so we can calculate t propagation from that we can calculate rtt and here rtt is 87 microseconds approximately we know the product of delay and bandwidth gives us number of bits on the communication pipe so by taking their product it gives us approximately 5 bits on the communication pipe therefore we can calculate one bit time as rtt divided by delay into bandwidth so we get 
one bit is equal to 17.85 microseconds. We can directly calculate it by one bit divided by 56 kbps. We get the same value. So to know the bit length, we need round trip distance which is 20 kilometer. So 20 kilometer divided by 5 bits gives us 1 bit is equal to 4 kilometer long. Example 7 is same as example 6 only we have considered it for the wireless LAN where bandwidth is 54 Mbps and it gives us 1 bit time as 0.01851 microseconds and distance as 5.55 meters. Now example 8 says that if the propagation delay is equal to transmit delay, calculate the bandwidth for the given frame size. So from given input we can calculate propagation delay and by given condition we can calculate the bandwidth we get it 3.2 Mbps. By using the same formula we get bandwidth 16.384 Mbps if the packet size is 512 bytes. This example says that there are two separate links forward and reverse link and parameters are different for both the links and we need to calculate the throughput. So we have calculated T frame for forward link which is 8 millisecond and transfer time which is 28 millisecond. For the reverse link, we have calculated time for the acknowledgement and transmission time for the acknowledgement as 10.08 milliseconds. So for forward link, it is 28 millisecond. For reverse link, it is 10.08 millisecond. So we get total latency as 38.08 millisecond. And from this, we can calculate the throughput, which is 210 kbps. Last example says that calculate the window size given the sequence numbers. For this example, sequence number bits are already given in the header and they are say one and we get the window size as 200 frames. But as the bits are C1, we have to select the window size as a 128 and it affects the overall efficiency where we get only 64% efficiency. We can solve many more problems by using the same logic. Thank you for watching this video.